I don't believe that staying at a place and taking like constant verbal abuse, you know, and brushing it off. You might think that you're strong and you're brushing it off, but you see things that you internalize and things that your brain taking, they begin to show themselves or show out in areas that you're not even conscious of. In your own life, there's a very big disconnect between, I think, our parents and maybe children that they're raising in this generation. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> what was that? Oh my gosh. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If this is your first time here, my name is Dimma or Dim Dim or Dimsko or Mama or Dims. <laughs> okay, so in today's video, I am going to be chatting with you guys. I haven't like just kind of done my makeup and like talked to you guys in a very long time. I'm going to be doing my makeup with makeup from one brand and the brand that I'm going to be using in this video is a brand called Flawless IV. It's a Nigerian brand, okay? So everything I'm going to be using is going to be from them. I'm going to try as much as possible not to dip out of the stash that I have here. This video was actually inspired by the video that I put out last week. If you've not seen the video that I put out last Sunday, please check the description box or maybe please go watch it before you watch this one. I'd also highly recommend that you watch this video until about maybe at least halfway before you leave a comment. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Okay, so that we can have a reasonable conversation in the comment section and it's not like unnecessary bass boost, okay? So with that particular Q&A, I got two different questions. I answered one in the video from two people kind of just asking me how to deal with toxic family members and toxic relations and stuff like that. And in the comment section of that video, someone asked me to please do an entire video dedicated to this and the comment got quite a good number of likes and I was like, okay, I might as well do it because it's going to answer some of the questions that I actually get often going to start out by priming my skin i'm going to use this foundation primer from flawless iv called optimus prime so i'm not going to use a lot just a tiny little bit okay you know those primers that kind of smooth your face out instantly and kind of give you like a very even base that's what this is doing as usual i am going to do the powder before foundation technique and this is the flawless iv setting powder before i start applying powder to my brows i am going to read out the two questions that i got in that video really quickly i already answered one in the video so the first one is why can nigerian parents never apologize how do i even forgive and forget the abuse from a parent and the second one which i did not answer in that video i wanted to answer in this video is how do you make your parents feel your worth because this constant nagging and insults is frustrating and and then the comment under that video, the one that kind of pushed me or motivated me to actually do this video is this one. And it says, can you please do another video talking about toxicity, especially in Nigerian homes? I have been struggling with this, especially trying to figure out when to move or even trying to justify why I'm moving to everyone else. Thank you. Really think that it's cool that you get a puff with this powder. Like there's a puff just right on top that you can use. For my brows, I'm going to be using the Flawless IV Eyes Multitasker. So it has like a brow pencil on one end and on the other end, it has like a pen liner. I'm also going to be using their brushes for this tutorial. And I feel like I have every single thing that I probably need for my face here. If you're not Nigerian um, or if you grew up in the West or North, I like to refer to people who live in Europe as Northerners. Um, this might all seem a bit confusing to you because you'd be like, oh, if you're in a place where you're feeling somehow, why don't you just leave? When you're looking at it from a very, very African, like, angle, point of view, perspective, there is a cultural context here that, you know, people who aren't African or who aren't Nigerian, you might not get, okay? Growing up this part of the world, as a woman, you're actually not expected to live on your own or kind of move out or do anything that is too independent to be very honest and um, some people might try to argue that and you know depending on what family you come from and just how well enlightened your family is and how just how the people in your own units think you know you might be like oh this is not me it's not my family but then if for a good number of people in this country women are basically expected to go from their father's house to their husband's house so from one man's house to another man's house so outside of the comment that i shared and the two questions that i shared we've had things happen you know recently 
that also kind of raised this question is nigerian parenting toxic is african parenting toxic if you guys remember there was a video that went viral i think two months ago you know and i think that the video originated from zambia someone correct me if i'm wrong but it was this boy who had failed his exams and from what i understand the exams that he failed are kind of the equivalent of yek it's this big exam that you take before you move on to uni if you fail yek you're not going to get admission into anywhere and depending on where in the world you are this exam has like a different name and he didn't just fail it once he failed it two times and in the video you could see that his father was so upset and his father was hitting him hitting him multiple times on his head especially like just slapping him just hitting him he was angry and there was a lady who was videoing it you know i think that we learned after like discussing this that the woman was a stepmom i think someone also correct me if i'm wrong i'm not going to post the video here because it's very triggering i didn't even finish watching it and it could be triggering for a lot of people i just really to be very honest i don't even want more people watching that video it led to a very big conversation here in nigeria especially nigerian twitter from me just observing i feel like the internet was split just equally with this a lot of people were saying that him beating the boy didn't really yield any positive results and a lot of people did not see anything with the way that the father hit him and i don't know what part of the world you're watching me from but beating is something that is actually quite common here you know i'm not going to pretend that this is not a thing growing up we are beat beating is so normalized in our culture or was so i don't really think that they do that much beating like when i'm saying beating flogging mostly flogging because these they get like a cane to flog you flogging is around the time i was growing up was so normalized in our culture that flogging happened in secondary schools flogging ha happened in primary schools if your name appeared in the names of noisemakers your teachers were allowed to flog you i personally feel like it gave a lot of very abusive people a lot of them were teachers and it gave them like an outlet for their anger like i remember when we were in secondary school there were certain teachers you know that they kind of looked forward to actually hitting hitting you like they'll kind of talk about it with this excitement of just how much they will beat you you know if the opportunity actually came about you know and at the time we thought i considered it normal thinking about it now it actually wasn't just the amount of excitement that some of these people got from looking forward to beating another human being in secondary school like there are also teachers who are notorious we knew that they their own beating was special like if you ever did anything that led to them beating you then you were in serious trouble okay so that's how normalized beating was guys talking and doing my brows you guys know by now it's like second world war for me so i'm going to try to just do this one really quickly off camera so i define my brows off camera because i just find it very difficult talking doing that and guys i try to make them as even as possible my brows need stella's addiction i haven't threaded my brows in such a long time and they just need to be threaded they need stella i'm going to prime my eyes with a concealer from flawless ivy too. guys i'm going to try to keep it really real in this video and i'm not going to pretend that some things never happened or they are not still happening okay but a lot of us people my age like i already said and gen z's we kind of grew up in households where flogging was a normal form of punishment okay it's something that we all consider to be normal we didn't even really think that anything was wrong with that it's even like a type of punishment that people still recommend up until now that blended out really really well and nicely you love to see it okay i am going to set my eye area with some powder the conversation that was happening on the timeline when that zambia video popped up was so triggering because i remember that people were even talking about how you know their parents would kind of douse the the cane with pepper first before like flogging you with it like Parents kind of get, got very creative or I've heard of how creative parents got by just making the flogging a lot more painful. And I feel like at that point, that is the point where you kind of stop and ask, what is the point of all of this? You know? Okay, so this concealer that I use is the Flawless IV Liquid Conceal and Highlight Concealer in FL04. On my eyes, I will be using the Flawless IV City Girl Eyeshadow Palette. It looks like this it has so many colors how many colors do you have in here so you have about 35 shades in here which is a lot so i want to do something um, hmm, what am i gonna do hmm. 
Okay, so I definitely want to do something with the green shades that I am seeing because there's a lot of like nice like turquoise, like blues and greens here, aquas. So I want to use those. So first shade that I'll use is this one called Adorable. I'll be using this blending brush from the set that I received. So secondary school uni kind of opened my eyes to just like what punishment was like in certain households and how as far as I was concerned a lot of parents and adults just kind of went overboard with it. I feel like we can, we can argue it if we want, you know, we can just argue whether or not we think that flogging serves any purpose and if it actually leads to correction i actually don't to a large extent think that it does anything i know people who like even growing up you begin to hear like children say that what was what's the worst that can happen isn't it to beat me okay so some people actually get so immune to beatings and floggings i know terrible that they're just like they brace themselves for it and they're like what's the worst that happened they kind of brace themselves for it and they're like it's physical pain i'll just carry on whatever i want to do later guys i don't think that beating someone constantly or flogging someone constantly yields any results I really don't think that it yields the type of results that you want. I remember reading a tweet from someone around the time that all of this, like, you know, the Zambia video kind of leaked on the internet. And someone literally said that beating someone, like constantly beating someone or beating somebody all the time, it doesn't really address the issue. It's just like an outlet for your own anger. You're upset that this person has wasted your money, upset that this person has stolen, upset that they've done something. You're known to be someone who kind of looks forward to it. How is that healthy? Okay, so next, I'm going to use this color here. It's called Accomplish. So we're going to use a Flawless Ivy Eyeshadow Primer. It looks like this. This is in the color Nude. This reminds me a lot of the NYX eyeshadow base that we used to use or Max Paint Pots. I think I'm going to drag this color into my crease. I have friends who are married and who have kids now and they don't beat their kids. They don't flog. And everybody has a very personal reason from experiences that they had from flogging, you know, and just beating in school and the house why they don't want to beat their children this is also a question to you guys like what do you guys think you know is it something that you do is it something that you recommend and is it something that you think is not going to go away this part of the world anytime soon so what am i trying to say with some of the things i've just explained i'm basically trying to explain that fear is such a big thing here it's something that adults leaders institutions employ a lot to try to use to keep people in check and yes it gives you the results you want short term but then there are consequences i believe that the way we we tend to like use fear or employ fear this part of the world is also like maybe one of the reasons why we struggle so much this part of the world in Nigeria to hold our leaders accountable for anything because from such a young age you know the way that you're brought up around we are really never comfortable a lot of people come from families here where you cannot sit down to chat with your parents you cannot gist with your mom you cannot gist with your dad you cannot talk about you know trivial things it's like they are kings ruling like their mini, mini, mini kingdoms. One thing that I'm happy about though is that I've had conversations with a lot of people who are, you know, raising children now, who are just like having their babies and raising them. And they are really not trying to take that route. However, a good number of people still don't see anything wrong with it. This eyeshadow is so gorgeous and it's applying really well. I don't have that much fallout. I don't have that much fallout at all. Going in with this brown hair, it's called Lush. I really just don't understand what is the point of raising children who you cannot communicate with? What is the point of raising children who you don't know? I see on social media a lot when people talk about how their parents don't even know who they are as adults. And I think that maybe the older they get sometimes, the more frustrated they become. And this is not just immediate parents sometimes. Even like extended family members and they are, you see them struggling to understand why there's such distance and why you don't get along with them as much as they hope that you would and they don't understand like all the things that they have done to kind of make it the way that it is does that make any sense it is them sometimes just refusing to take feelings into consideration or considering them to be a valid thing you know dragging that color into my crease a little bit okay so this color here called joyful this leads me to the questions that i got i would recommend that you try to talk to them at that point and see even if there are things that you can now pull off from when you were growing up that really really hurt you and has led to your current behavior you talk to them about it and then if you're talking to people who are not receptive at all i am a very big advocate of giving them space 
leave them and move away. There are people that I feel like it's actually best when you love them from a distance. I'm not joking. Because if you people are in close proximity, it's just constant fighting. And that just leads to constant pain and like unnecessary, like I just feel that some people, it's better if you love them from a distance. So if you're in a household where you know they're constantly insulting you and this goes for both guys and girls you know it's a bit more difficult for girls or women because we like i tried to explain in the beginning are not expected to leave our parents house we're expected to go from our father's house to another man's house a lot of the time with men like when the verbal bashing starts they pack up and leave you know and you're kind of low-key even expected to leave you're the man go and make money and those are things that are kind of within your control however you sitting in the house or staying there and you have someone constantly insulting you especially when it comes to marriage falls on that we want the best for you but your someone is constantly insulting you or saying very negative things to you or comparing you to others because you're not married i said leave guys like i just like i'm very particular about my peace to a very large extent, you know, I'll get to that later, but a lot of things that they're doing, they're doing it because it's how they were raised, it's what they know to do, you know. They're not really doing it because they hate you, but then these things are leaving scars. And if you're talking to someone who is not ready to accept that their words have consequences, if you're dealing with someone who is not ready to accept that they are hurting you in any way with the things that they say and the way that they treat you, leave. I think that maybe I'm going to apply a little bit of blue. There's a navy blue here called Stunning. So I'm going to work that into this area just so that, yeah, I think that this will complement the green. This shade here called Darling, which is like a nude vanilla shade, I'm going to apply that on my brow bone area. I don't believe that staying at a place and taking like constant verbal abuse, you know, and brushing it off. You might think that you're strong and you're brushing it off, but you see things that you internalize and things that your brain taking, they begin to show themselves or show out in areas that you're not even conscious of. In your own life, self-worth, imposter syndrome, like so many things that you don't even know where they stem from. A lot of them come from things like this and things that we've heard people tell us over and over again. And no matter what anybody tells me, guys, there should be respect, especially as an adult, there should be a level of respect between you and your parents. And the respect should be mutual. Okay, before I move on, I want to use this um, Flawless IV Brow Mascara. Because the eyebrow pencil that I used was very dark. And I think that that shade was number one. Um, I just want to use it to lighten my brows up a little bit to make it look a lot more natural. You guys can see that this looks slightly not as dark as the first one. I actually like this a lot. So going to use the liner on the other end of the brow pencil that I used. I want this line to be kind of dramatic, so... Okay, so this eyeliner actually applied really easily. And some mascara just to kind of prepare my lashes for the falsies that I'm going to be using. So I'll be using this pair of lashes from them. I'm trying to see if there's a name for this particular style. This particular style is called Ra. I don't know if that's a pronunciation, but you know that thing that lions do? You know, that's what it is. Guys, I kind of struggled a little bit applying these. <laughs> and I haven't used lashes that are this fluttery before. I just went back to look at the packaging it says 5d normally i would use 3d lashes i have not used 5d before and these are fluttery as hell okay so moving on to the rest of my face and to the other part of this video so now that i've kind of just talked about unnecessary violence in the name of punishment that you find in a lot of nigerian homes and also verbal and emotional abuse you know that we tend to lump on that scolding sometimes i want to talk about like just kind of focus on our parents now okay and try to also explain to people who are struggling why things are probably the way they are i'm going to be using two different foundations both from flawless ivy but different types of foundations from them one is their flawless ivy hd high definition 100 percent waterproof 24 hour matte oil free foundation and the second one is the flawless ivy oil free foundation 100 percent waterproof matte the difference is that one is high definition one is not okay so i'm going to use this flat topped foundation brush the mix that i have now is very close 
to my regular foundation shades these two foundations are like thick they're like really thick okay and they're actually drying really quickly you know so i have to work really fast this foundation is so full coverage there's a scar a permanent scar that i have here like um i get i have that because of my glasses and that's one of the first ways that i try to just check just how much coverage i'm getting with the foundation and i'm getting really good coverage with this and it's drying down really quickly so this is a brand that a lot of you have asked me to kind of tell you guys what i think about them for a very long time so i'm glad that i'm doing this video you know talking about their products and everything sorry everything that i have used so far i actually like with some of the things i have said so far i know that a lot of you are like yes this is so true i feel like this and it's so bad and terrible and i do agree but our parents grew up in a time that was just wildly different a lot of us come from families where our immediate parents are doing so much better than our grandparents our parents have given us certain privileges like exposed us to things that they personally were never exposed to and for a lot of them this is all they wanted like they just wanted this looking at it from the outside they wanted it for themselves and they couldn't get those things like the experiences that we kind of low-key to be very honest take for granted and it could be as basic as going to school to highlight i'll be using the flawless ivy concealer the same one that i use all over my eyelid to prime and this is an fl04 like i was saying it could be as simple or as basic as just school these are things that they wanted for themselves but they couldn't get they didn't have access to but they promised themselves that they will give these things to their children and they've like kind of worked really hard and they've been able to just like give those things to us but then to us they're kind of like normal they are things that at this point or in this world that we're living in parents are expected to give to their children but in the time that they grew up it, it really wasn't a lot of them even grew up in extended families where their fathers had multiple wives and if you manage to get certain things you're lucky and because they wanted these things for themselves so bad they just honestly believed that if they got it they will be happy so they are going to give it to their children so that their children will be happy but then we are living in a time that is so completely different from the time that they lived in where you know it doesn't really just you don't have to go to school to be happy there are so many other things we are that generation i feel like we are craving a certain type of relationship with our parents we see what people who are not africans have with their parents and we kind of low-key want that we want to be able to talk to our parents about certain things we want to be really comfortable around them and we really really struggle to so that's the reason why sometimes when you get into argument sometimes i've seen it happen a lot parents get in a fight with their kids and they're like oh i've given them xyz why can't they just be xyz you know because to them those things in their own time equaled happiness and i feel like more than any group of people children of immigrants can relate to this so much because their parents did not know they didn't have time to just sit down and oh get in tune with their emotions their parents were just working from morning to night they didn't have time to explore their emotions or explore how they feel about certain things and that's the reason why i feel like a lot of them just struggle i didn't even know that my camera stopped recording this concealer you have to work really fast with it i guess when i was blending it out on my eyes i didn't know just how fast you had to be because i was using a brush but if you're blending out with a beauty blender i'll actually highly recommend that you apply this in sections don't apply everything at once and you know just apply slowly because by the time you get to the part you want to blend out you might struggle to blend that part out okay i know that those of you who kind of moved to the u.s when we were very young with parents you guys kind of understand what i'm saying a lot of your parents actually didn't even grow up in the states or in the uk right they didn't grow up in those places they don't understand bullying the way that you do to them as far as they're concerned you know you're going to school in america you know you have access to all these things you have food you have internet you have these things that people back home don't even have access to why are you not happy especially when it comes to depression and very sensitive things that you're trying to get them to understand they don't understand it it's the same thing here as well you know it's the same thing so they, they i feel like a lot of them struggle to understand things like depression you're depressed what's that they don't understand it and it's because i guess they didn't really half the time growing up in their own lives to actually sit down and think as much as we do hmm. this is going to give me a very natural looking contour you know whatever i want to add i'll just go in later on and add it with my setting powder whatever powder i used to set this there's a very big disconnect 
between I think our parents and maybe children that they are raising in this generation. What makes the most difference is if you're lucky enough to come you know from a family where you guys can actually talk or if the parent in question who you're having all these issues with is actually someone you can talk and to be very honest a lot of the time some of them can prove stubborn and i'll also get to wh why i think that they can be stubborn sometimes if you have parents who actually listen yes then talk to them talk to them and try to talk to them and tell them how the things that they've done from as long as you ever can remember has affected you and how it kind of affects the way that you think they don't feel it you know the way we feel it till they start getting older and they start worrying why is there this distance you know between them and their children there's a very big disconnect in a lot of cases especially here in nigeria as i know especially talking with friends and just knowing what i know parents can struggle so much they can be very very stubborn and hard-headed about it and to be very honest i've also kind of realized that that whole thing that they do that whole stubbornness a lot of it actually stems from fear because even like the older i get sometimes like the more it dawns on me that things are changing so imagine your parents you're trying to explain to them that they live in a world that is so vastly different from what they know you're telling them that things don't really work like this and then if they do this thing that they saw their parents doing and give certain results with them that doing it with you doesn't give the same results it kind of makes them feel okay so what do we do then and then when they're not patient enough to actually think and they're not open to talk, talking to you what they do is they double down they double down and we're like i've told you what i know and this is what how it will be i don't know if all of this is making sense i know i tend to say this a lot i am using the setting powder that i use initially to set the highlighted parts of my face this is the flawless iv all-in-one face palette so there's a blush in here there are some highlighters and then there is a powder as well just to give you guys an idea what it looks like it looks like this i'm going to use this shade here so as an all-over face powder i'm going to use this shade here i'm going to line my waterline really quickly because i didn't do that before moving on to the rest of my face going to take this shade the very dark brown that i use and i'm going to smudge this on my lower lash line so i'm going to use this shade here for my blush okay so this is the flawless iv sparkling body dust face eyes and body with this a little goes a long way to be very honest you don't even want to apply this with a brush so i'm just going to okay it's a very like soft type of like highlighter and just very little here okay so i feel like the explanation that i just kind of gave you guys um is really really important so that you're also kind of low-key easy easy on your parents and to know that there are things that you probably never get them to understand what i want you to do is to because I feel like there will still be a point where you can actually still talk about them. But then I don't want you to let certain situations to live rent free in your head. I used to be that kind of person who can fix it about what someone told me 7 million years ago. Or what someone would tell me in the heat of an argument. And then it will affect me so much. Till one time I had this conversation with my mom. My mom was like, people will do like what they think is best. And just kind of move on like you're the one who is kind of killing yourself so just for your own peace of mind and so that you're able to sleep and then you're not building up all this like negative energy inside you will have to find a way to live with the disconnect and to understand that loki these people love you and i think that that's very valid i took it and i ran with it so if it is distance that helps you then create that distance i feel like distance is one of the best ways and it has worked for everybody that i know you know it's one thing that you're constantly fighting with someone and when you come back from work and when that person comes back from work people will meet again and continue from where you stopped so i think that there are certain situations that are just best when you create a level of distance and to know that your parents love you they're just loving you the way that they know how to be very honest this is a flawless ivy lip pencil and does this have a shade this is their brown lip liner i don't think that there's a particular name for this one i'm going to leave it in the description box if i find it are you still filming mm -hmm. so i'm going to go into this bad boy here this is their luxurious lip gloss set the name of this particular shade is like a virgin so i'm going to apply this 
and just like smack my lips in it's very close to the color of like my actual lips but this is one of those like light glosses that is very very easy to blend out okay so just to finish everything up i am going to spray some setting spray and this is a flawless ivy setting spray it says hydrating mist hmm guys i don't want to hydrate anything but i'm going to just use a little bit because um this foundation is like really matte like they weren't joking when it's they said matte foundation just so that it doesn't like settle into the cracks 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 i'm just going to use a little bit i'm not going to use that much okay guys i'm back i put on my wig real quick you guys haven't seen this wig in such a long time i too have missed it um i like the way that my face looks i like the way that this look turned out i'm going to leave a detailed list of everything that i use in the description box but we really need to i think maybe reflect on the way that parenting is done here i've talked to a lot of people my age who are raising kids now or close to my age and i know that a lot of them actually like two or three of my friends that i know or people who i know they don't beat their children they don't spank kids they just you know there are certain things that connote punishment you know so tell me what your thoughts are on this i honestly don't think that they, i i honestly think that a good number of us did not turn out okay a lot of people are so confident and they're like oh you know a lot of people were so vocal i remember the time that the video from zambia went viral and people were saying all sorts and they were like ah uh, you know i turned out great i turned out great with the way you treat certain people and the way you react to certain situations you actually did not turn out great therapy is something that is not as affordable or accessible this part of the world but it's something that i feel like if you get to a point in your life where i feel like you can afford to you should go for it a lot of people who are doing way better than us in life who are still doing well they're not they've not broken down or anything they are doing therapy they have therapists and it's so that you're able to work through emotions there are so many things that we have hang-ups on that they stem from these things, but we don't know. Guys, let's talk in the comment section. What do you guys think? Let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want like a list of the products that I have used, I'm going to leave it in the um, description box. I'm feeling myself. I just looked at the viewfinder and I think that this makeup turned out so great. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Mwah.